Sam. <laughs> Jacob's <smoothie>. fam. <laughs> I like you, Jacob. Fucking hate you, man. You hate me? Uh oh. No, Jacob. Oh, okay. You disgust me. Well, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max, Maybe. you seem like you're. Maybe. You seem like you're trying to kid all the time, but at the same time, you're actually serious. Yeah, that's the fun part, right? No, mm-hmm. it's actually just being. A that's prick. the confusing part. I think no. it's funny. It's actually just being a common prick. <laughs> From you, really? You think it's fun confusing people and? Yeah, but I've been very honest about me being a dickhead. Being... Magnus is trying to hide behind this. Yeah, but but I'm just joking. But am I really joking? <laughs> trying to be funny about it. That's the kind of show that tortured me as a child. Social ambiguity. Magnus, Magnus is a bully, but he doesn't want to admit to being a bully. <laughs> Not really. You just want to inform people fully without leaving out any details. It's all about having fun, huh, Jacob? Useless. But if I'm having fun on someone else's cost, is that still okay? (laughs) That depends on how far you go. (laughs) <laughs> but what is too far because that is still subjective that's something you have to learn in your life yeah but then I have to learn every individual's stand on where is too far where are their limits well if you want to push boundaries that's your problem well I have to push boundaries to know their limits because nobody's just going to come up and tell me, which is what I want them to do, which would be so much easier. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just tell me your limit. Okay, I won't break it. Just people right. would just say what they meant. I would be so much less yeah. unhappy person. I wouldn't have to deal with bullshit all the time. I wouldn't have to push any limits. It would just be, okay, your limit is there. Fine. But it's fun, though. Of course it's fun, but it's like I don't you... have to have fun with people in that respect if they tell me their limits. You say you want to push limits. Yet yeah, you but don't. if you told me that if you do this, I am going to be seriously upset, then I have the respect for you that I wouldn't do that. But since nobody ever does that... We're not mind readers. Yeah, Exactly. Which means People that expect- I have to try and figure out and mind map my way through life People expect- in testing limits. People expect you to lie to them. People expect you to know what they're thinking. And as far as the lying to them, they want, you, they want a goddamn, you know, Oscar winning performance when you do it. If I ask someone how I look before I go out, it's because I need information. It's not because I want a compliment. Exactly. And whoever is trying to type me as ESFP,
What about them? <laughs> you sounded like you were going to say something. <sighs> now everyone who's going to try to type me as ESFP. I just kind of feel like you're I want to say something, but I want to say it properly, and I'm not sure. I don't know what you're trying to say, so I can't give you any. No, but what I really want to say is that you're wrong. That That's what I want to say. But I want to say it in a more, less blunt way. But that's just what I want to say wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you need to give reasons. I know. I want to give a reason for it, but that's just my instinct of saying shit is just you're wrong. Um, She's not going to give a reason because if she gives a reason, that that would be something that you can refute. She's going to cling to her subjective opinion because you can't prove that one wrong. No, because I would definitely argue with my argument because I'm super drunk, so my argument is going to be totally fucked up. Um... But I will try and come up with an argument that is pretty decent. Just give me a second. Yeah, Blanky, let's type Blanky. The problem is that <laughs> if I'm going to come up with an argument against it, it means that I care. And since I don't care, it just seems silly. So but then either why? way... So then you're the one making the argument. Hmm? You can't be like, I don't care. You're wrong, though. I need to say something and you're wrong, but I don't care, guys. Yeah, but that's the problem because, because I said so. I don't, I don't really care, but why I just say, I still why feel the need to tell that you that you're wrong. But there's literally no point in you saying that we're wrong if you don't want to further the conversation and explain why you think we're wrong. You're just like putting out insults for no reason, basically. Yeah, like, like we're talking. Logic, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like actually like care about why I why I think you're wrong. You're just wrong. I'm just gonna be rude and say you're wrong. But I don't I don't have any reasons to it's like we're talking to <laughs> each other. Arguments why he thinks that people are wrong. We're talking Because to... I don't wanna be contradicting my own statements. So you're saying that you can't actually give an argument without contradicting yourself? <laughs> Because I haven't been arguing against any other type that you've been typing me as. I can't suddenly go on an you argument and say, argue. now you're suddenly wrong because blah, blah, blah. I can't do that. What are you arguing about, it. first of all? Is it an academic argument? Is it an emotional argument? Is it a principled mor morality argument, ethical? What are you arguing about? I'm arguing on the base that an ESFP... No, what are you... Okay, go ahead. The reasoning behind my argument is that you guys don't know me in real life. And if you had known me in real life, you'd know that an ESFP is nothing like the way that I am in real life. But then I would have to go into... The argument that right now you're acting like an ESFP and every, every evidence that you've given us has seemed like you're an ESFP. But then I would have to actually explain to you a that lot of personal information. Your personality and your actual, like, how you behave you, you're stopping me before i can finish which is actually very insulting and disrespectful <laughs> oh but you can tell me that i'm wrong without actually giving any reasons so that's totally fine yeah but i said that that was okay i wasn't disrespecting you in that regard but you're disrespecting me by okay, not on. letting me finish my sentence all right then do it <laughs> and continuing on your rant because I was just saying that I would have to give out personal information about myself that I don't feel like you are a claim to. Well, then don't make, don't make an argument if you're not prepared to back it up with fact or with at least um, uh, I made a statement. Anecdote. I didn't make an argument. You wanted me to make an argument that I didn't want to make. I just made a statement. See, there's Two different a things. There's a difference between letting someone know personal information about you and someone picking up patterns of behavior and the patterns of behavior that we've been picking up haven't necessarily been personal but have been congruent with a specific type what? so we're not saying that all of these things are like 
I don't know, you don't need personal information to type people. If we did, we wouldn't even try and type like celebrities. I I find that really shady. The whole typing of dead celeb like typing Benjamin Franklin or typing Oh, well um, like I mean people that you can actually observe and see like being made. I think it's just a way to 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 make people a feel better about what their type is if they aren't happy with their type or if it's a bragging yeah. point. I, I think historical people are different than like active celebrities. You can type them from their uh, writings, like if they have books or stuff. <sighs> Spacey knows the shit. Spacey like, is the only one who gets this. Co cognitive functions is how you reason. So we hear your reasoning when you're talking. Yeah, but reasoning based on an alcoholic drug insanity is not the same as my <laughs> non-drunk reasoning would be. You're drunk right now? I'm super drunk, and it's three in the morning. Loser. So what do you think you are? What are we claiming that you're not? What are what are, what do you think you are? What type what type do you think you are? That we're saying I'm not saying that I think I'm anything. I'm <laughs> saying that ESFP is definitely a lot of people that I know that is very different from from what I am. Uh, it seems like you you're taking offense to um some of the people here are making, yeah, yeah, they're making observations um, um, on your speech and behavior. Mm -hmm. Actually, I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. Um, and oh. I feel like a lot of people have a tendency to stereotype people according to certain types that they don't like, for instance, if they don't but like the person. But you're doing the exact same thing yourself. When you know other ESFPs and say you can't be like them because you have a different style. So you're doing the exact same thing yourself. Yes, which is exactly why I know. Which is exactly why I know that is not the same type as me because they have... They have a totally different style of being, so think you're the which is why I don't want to reveal all those things to disclaim why I'm not that kind of person. I feel like this argument it's is not sweet. even going to, it's, well, it's looping because she thinks that she transcends typology. She thinks but, she transcends truth. Well, she just said earlier that she doesn't type as anything because she's different. Oh. No, I didn't say I typed as anything because I was different. I said that nobody should be typed, should type themselves because they are all complex. Right. Why do you only come and on here if you're drunk? Everybody has an easier way of typing yeah, why are you on here in the first place? Because I see, them, see That's other people as simple. <laughs> why are you here in the first place? If you don't, if you don't, if you don't give credence to intriguing to her and she's curious but she's she also claimed that she doesn't know that much about typology but then she has a lot of uh critiques on it well didn't you didn't you say that uh, nobody can type themselves because they can't see themselves objectively so that means yeah but also people that means, feel that they are more complex than they see other people nobody can see other people clearly but you but really they can see okay. themselves as a construct of simplistic traits but you can't see yourself as a construct of as simplistic traits because you know yourself and yourself is so much more complex i don't think so but you also simplistic say you traits you so, can't so, 